This product was made in the United States of America. The can on the left is the one that I converted myself and it doesn't work. The one on the right is the Hans can and just to start with you can see the size of the opening that makes filling this up way easier. This is the original spout that came with the can and if you can use the gas can in this position it works pretty good for filling things up. I'm going to just put that spot on a shelf because I, what I'm after is the can itself and the mechanism that Hans made up for it. This is a two and a half gallon can which is great for my kind of flying. But this is the system that I really wanted. This is how it comes from Hans and it's ready to install. Both ends of the can have the semi-transparent stripe that makes it way easier to see how much fuel is actually left in the can. Even under our photography lights, it's easy to see how much fuel is left in this can. And these folks aren't playing fast and loose with a can of gas. You can see that the cap they're using is approved and it's nicely made. And they do all the assembly of the lines and that, so it's all ready to go when you get it. Okay, assembling this can isn't effort free. We do have to remove the backing from this hook and loop material that helps hold it to the side of the can. Then we just set the bracket over the neck, push that sticky side of the hook and loop material onto the side of the can, and we just have to install the cap. Because all of the lines are attached, I found out that if you turn this cap counterclockwise several turns, and then put it on, when you screw it down, the lines come out pretty straight. They do give you plenty of line to work with, though. And when you get done, aside from putting fuel in the can, this thing really is ready to go to work. I have no problem paying a little more for something that has this kind of quality and this kind of pre-assembly. I want to get this assembled and get it out to the flying field. And the way Hans does this, that's just what you do. This fuel probe fits into this cap when it has a seal inside. Then when you have this out in the sun, when you pull it out, you can hear the air hiss a little bit. So it really does seal this up. And the next stop for my can was the flying field where I can get to use it and do some flying. I bought the can at Aeroworks and I also got this aluminum fuel dot from them and together they make refueling the airplane very easy. Everything just plugs in and it's ready to go. I didn't even have to prime the pump, I just started turning the right way and it started pumping gas. I think they made a good choice using this Dubro pump because you see them everywhere and everywhere they seem to be working. The whole point of getting the Hans can was so I could get out and do more flying and less worrying about the trailer smelling like a gasoline bomb. Another good point is that the Hans can has a two-stage filtering system so I don't get drunk in the carburetor that can make my plane fall down. So if you're messing around with a homemade can and getting frustrated with it, you need to look at one of these Hans cans. Everything about this can is made very well, it works great, and it's going to last a long time.